Hey there, you're watching Alexa and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, just welcome. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing my intro to my Pan Those Eyeshadows, which I will film updates for once a month. This idea or concept is actually started by a YouTuber called Alexandra who does Pan Those Eyeshadows on a yearly basis. I believe she has two to three years of playlists on this concept and I highly recommend her channel. She always comes up with really beautiful looks and I've been very inspired by her and other YouTubers who also partake in this sort of tag project, if you will. There is Natasha from Too Much Tash, there's Rebecca Morgan, another user called Alexandra, I believe, and who else? I can't think of anyone else on the very, very top of my head, but basically you pick out five shades in a sort of randomized roulette style and see if you can hit your objective on the shadows. And as you do, you roll in a new item and that objective may be a usage goal or to hit pan. So if I have a shadow that is a dark brown or a black or something dark that's really difficult to pan, then I'm gonna set a usage goal as opposed to trying to pan that shadow. I haven't exactly decided much further than that how I'd want to go. Like if the color is really out there, like a mint or something, I'm not really sure how I'm gonna go about it, but we'll see how this plays out. This is just, I mean, I'm doing this for fun, but I'm also doing this to get a better um, grasp of my collection, start to experiment with more colors and rotate my items because yeah, I've been doing project pans and I've realized that you know, pan that palette isn't for me. So I'm gonna open up the randomizer and I'll put the minimum for one and the maximum is 458. I have 458 pans in my collection. That is including each pan in palettes and single pans. The first number that I got is 436. Oh, shit, I should write this down. Alright, next one. What? Oh, 407. Let's do another one. 330. It's a little difficult to do these in the viewfinder. Three. Oh my gosh. And let's do one more. 389. All right, I have all the palettes laid out to me. Um, number 436 is going to be the second shadow in the Spiced palette. And this I've actually never used. I received this in PR. And actually, I'm, I'm not upset about this. It's uh, not this one, but this one. This would be the second shade right here. The Revlon Quint shade number five, I'm actually worried about and is definitely going to have a limit. I think I'll probably put like a five usage on this because it's a super glittery shade that I know is going to have a lot of fallout and I might not enjoy wearing this so much to be really frank with you. I will experiment with my glitter glue and see if that helps that out. Glitter glue. Glitter primer from NYX. So that's the shade right here, which is sort of like a pewter of sorts. And then I actually got a shade from the Wet n Wild palette that I was panning last year, but it was actually one of the colors I don't have pan on, which is this one right here. Again, this is going to be one with a limited number of gold usage because it stains my eyelids. It's one of the reasons why I didn't bother trying to pan these two colors right here, the red and the pink, they actually stay in my eyelids. So I don't know, maybe I'll use it 10 times because I actually really like the way that it looks, especially blown out in the crease, but yeah. The next item is Burnout, which is in the Naked 3 palette, the pinky one. And this shade right here is Burnout. Number five is a shade called Cocoa Shimmer. And it's from this Pixie palette right here, which I've never used. This is called the Natural Beauty palette from Pixie. I think where I'm at is I'm going to track my usage on each item and try to keep it down to 10 or five on shades that are not neutral. And then maybe everything else I'll leave in until I pan, except maybe the Pixie 
because that's sort of a dark shade. We'll see how it works, but I'm really not sure, you guys, because this is the first time I do it, and I need to get familiar with the formulas. I will take pictures of some of the looks I come up with so that I can share it at the end of my next update. I'll pop on some goals on the screen, and maybe that way I'll just sit and compare, and then I'll feel more comfortable about setting parameters for next month yeah so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and i really look forward to doing this i'm a bit nervous but i'm also really excited because it's nice to try something new for once be sure to follow me on instagram via alexa likes and i'll see you in my next video bye